Oh, Introductions, my loyal subjects. Surely of all of my viewers, you are the ones who actually miss me in the times where I'm absent, which is most of the time. Let us converse. Enter the Gungeon got a fabulous new update. Yeah. My favorite new features would have to be the quality of life changes. For instance, they added teleporters to treasure rooms, and now you can save hearts for later instead of having to trek back for them. Next most notable change, enhanced item synergies. For example, that gun that shoots garbage gets more powerful the more junk you're carrying. Side note, junk is what you get when you shoot open a chest. Sometimes you'll get like a heart or armor, but usually you just get junk. Except for this one time, I got golden junk, and that gives you 500 coins. What ensued was a fine example of why I'm always broke in real life. Don't worry, you don't need to spend that much money to have fun. Our sources have located a GOG sale. Hotline Miami is $249. If you like fast-paced action games, Hotline Miami is a great value for $249. Monster Hunter World comes out Thursday, ooh ah! Which I'm pretty excited for, but I've already logged hundreds of hours on the PS4. I'm really excited to play the game on a good controller. Like, the PS4 controller is pretty good, but for Monster Hunter, like, I need this thing with the grips and the toggles and settings and action sets and all that stuff. This, this is gonna be good. Glad I'll finally be able to play at 60 FPS, but that's kind of a given. Faster loading times, however. <laughs> Still playing plenty of fighting games, I just got Killer Instinct, and I'm really liking the combo assist mode. It makes it really accessible for new players. I got some bad news. You may want to be seated for this. The Y button on my Steam controller is starting to wear out. I've had this thing for a long time. I got it like two years ago almost, and it, I don't know, this, this thing has been mashed on like hardcore. Especially when I introduced Dragon Ball to my friends. Those guys are like, like you can just hear the, the flex when they press down on it. And you're like, ah, you're hurting my baby. And then they stop playing and leave. I mean, eh, the Y button, eh, but whatever. But like in Dragon Ball, it's pretty, like it's your medium attack. You don't want that to whiff or stick, you know? Don't get me wrong, this is great for Monster Hunter. This will work just fine. But for Dragon Ball, I needed to explore a couple of other options. Enter the Hori Fight Commander Pad. And the PlayStation 4 controller. The D-pad is all right, if you can hear that. I was hoping it would be clicky. I mean, that's, that's sort of clicky. And then the buttons are kind of soft, like a, uh, hang on. Oh, it's, it's affecting my Word document. I didn't anticipate this. For what I wanted, there might have been some better stuff available, like the Xbox One D-pad is pretty clicky. I probably could have got one of those. Bro, yeah, it still can. Just how many new controllers do I need in a month? Not that many. If I could go back though, I'd probably prefer something a little pricier that felt a little bit more solid. So Evo just ended. We got a lot of new fighting game news, reveals. I didn't really watch any of the fights, but I'll probably go back and check them out on YouTube or something. Mainly just to see what Sonic Fox wore <laughs> wore to the tournament. Probably something pretty cool. So I keep hearing that Dragon Ball was bigger than Street Fighter at EVO. I think it was sign-ups. There were more sign-ups for Dragon Ball than Street Fighter this year. But apparently this is the first time that's ever happened. I'm pretty happy about it though. If Street Fighter's gonna get usurped, it might as well be Dragon Ball, you know what I mean? There's also been another character reveal. Dragon Ball Fighters is getting none other than Frieza's non-canon older brother, Cooler. Like we already kind of knew about. Speaking of DLC, I think I said last week that the patch was coming out on the 2nd on Thursday, but that wasn't the case. I don't know where I got August 2nd from. I don't know. But the patch has no release date yet. Anyways, I'd like to thank the handful of you guys who actually watched me on Thursday. That was a lot of fun, and I did not expect to see five whole people watching at the same time. How much does that kick ass? This, this much. More. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is where I would put some clips from the stream, but I forgot to set my video output and, uh... Whoops! In the meantime, you'll just have to tune in this Thursday for Monster Hunter World. I'm getting a lot of stuff fleshed out for the stream. Assets, graphics, sound effects... Let me give you the tour! 
So this is the stream layout that I made for Dragon Ball. This is my stream layout for other games. It's kind of a work in progress, but we'll see where it goes. I'm preparing for the new patch because I think everybody knew that Nappa was going to get buffed. I'm gonna mess you up. Because I think he's kind of like the lowest tier character and we're getting base Goku and base Vegeta. So of course they want people to play Nappa because he's integral on that part of the story. I'm really liking this attack. Come underneath. Finally, I'd like to remind you all that are still watching that I'll be streaming again this Thursday and Saturday from 3 to 5 and then 7 to 10. We're going to be playing Monster Hunter World because that launches on the PC on Thursday. And I'm going to want to play it all weekend, so Saturday as well. Oh, but an extra Friday doth appear before me. But what should we do on Friday? Let me answer that for you. QuakeCon is this weekend and Doom Eternal is getting a gameplay reveal Friday morning at 10 a.m. I'm gonna be on checking it out and giving my impressions. So tune in and maybe after that I'll play some Doom. Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard Time. I'll see you then. But in the meantime, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And please join the Discord. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.